I know a lot of people are looking forward to the public impeachment hearings beginning tomorrow, myself obviously included. But if you're not willing to sit through hours of testimony, and if you're not, you should be ashamed of yourself, here's another idea. Why not gauge whether the president has committed an impeachable offense by counting how many of his fellow Republicans have announced they won't be seeking re-election next year? If you've been doing the math, which I have, since the midterms, 22 House Republicans have announced they're throwing in the towel, according to NPR's tracking. The latest? Congressman Peter King from New York, who just declared he's retiring after 14 terms. But if you think that declaration might come with a side of courage, think again. In a statement, King wrote that despite leaving office, he, quote, intends to vote against President Trump's impeachment and will support the president's bid for re-election. Translation, no tweets, please, Mr. President. I love that he doesn't even need to see the evidence to decide. Then there's Congressman Will Hurd. He's the lone black Republican in Congress. He's from Texas. And earlier this year, he voted for a resolution condemning Trump's racist tweets against the four freshman congresswomen dubbed the squad. Then, just a few weeks later, he announced his resignation, saying he would, quote, stay involved in politics to grow a Republican Party that looks like America, adding that we are neither Republican nor Democrat nor independent. We are better than the sum of our parts, or maybe not. And then there's Francis Rooney. He is my favorite. In October, he was one of the few Republicans with enough of a spine to publicly declare it was at least possible that Trump did something wrong with that Ukraine call. It's certainly very, very serious and troubling. So I just want to make sure that I get all the data I can get. And I'm talking to everybody I can talk yep. to to understand all this. I don't think you could rule anything out till you know all the facts. But a mere 24 hours later, Rooney did rule something out, another congressional run. Oh, and he ended up voting against the impeachment resolution, too. You know, Cindy McCain, wife of the late Senator John McCain, recently spoke about how her husband would have felt about the situation in his party today. I think he'd be disgusted with some of the stuff that's going on. I really do. I think he'd be, what he'd be saying was that he'd be railing against what's going on. And uh, I think John provided a lot of cover for other members. And when he would do it, then they could get behind him kind of thing. And I'm not seeing a, a real rudder in the Senate right now. Or they could at least use an oar or two, because right now the Republican Party is adrift at sea. And instead of charting a course back towards honor, it looks like many think man overboard is the best course.